Welcome back, everyone, to our prayer journey with Mike Toth. You know, the Lord is good at giving us a lot of visions of things or illustrations. The other night, I had my granddaughter come over, two and a half years old. We had a babysitter overnight. And she's a tough little one. So when it came time to sleep, we had to go all sleep together. I had to put it between me and my wife. And plus, we didn't trust her. She'd be running all around the house. So we got her in between. And surprisingly, she fell to sleep pretty quickly. But about two or three hours later, my wife gets up and says, she peed her diaper and it's on me. So we had to get up and uh, my wife changed the diaper and we put it back to bed. The only thing was, she's thinking, no, I don't want to go to bed. I want to stay up. My wife, I knew, didn't get much sleep, so I was trying to appease her. And I finally said, you know what I'm going to do? I took her in my arm, my right arm, and I laid her down and she faced me and I just hugged her. And she quieted a little bit and she kept saying, Papia, Papia. <laughs> So I says, go to sleep, little girl. And I start to fall asleep. And as I'm falling asleep, I feel a hand just going all over my face. All over my face. And I open my eyes, and she's looking at me with tremendous adoration. Like, Papia, I love you. And that's what she kept saying. Papia, Papia. You know, she wasn't looking for anything from me but to seek my face. And as I'm sleeping, I'm thinking, boy, is this a great illustration God has just given me. In Psalm 27, 8, it says, Thou saidest, Seek my face. And my heart said unto thee, Thy face will I seek. That's what God wants from us, for us to seek him. You know, the next morning, I got up early. I ran in to make my coffee. And uh, all of a sudden I hear, no, I want Poppy, I want Poppy. <laughs> she comes running out with tears in her eyes. Poppy, pick me up. And I pick her up and have my coffee with her. <laughs> Isn't that what we should feel when we go to God? It's just an incredible thing when you can touch the face of God the way she touched my face. That's what God seeks from us. You know, there's only been a few times in my life in prayer where I have gotten that close that I felt God's presence right there. One was a heavy confession because I was full of pride, which is my big problem all the time, even though I don't accomplish much. But pride is an evil thing, and I got rid of that, and I felt the presence of God and knew how dirty I was. One other time was on New Year's Day many years ago. They decided to keep the church open for prayer and they had each of us open for four hours at a time. I opened the church and I'm there for four hours. <laughs> Nobody came in. What am I going to do? I started praying. You know, I couldn't believe it. I, I probably waited a half hour before I really started praying. And then I prayed the whole three and a half hours and I left it joyously. So see God's face. And again, if there's anyone out there that does not know you, Lord, I pray that their hearts would be open right this minute and that they would ask you into their heart. That they would accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and have their sins washed away so that they can reach up to heaven and touch your face. I thank you for your time. If you like this video, please share it, like it. And I ask this, let, may Jesus increase in your life as we decrease. Thank you again, and God bless you until next time.